Should you stop shaving? When you get regular UTIs, you're often asked about your lifestyle habits, such as water intake, underwear choices, and wiping. And the comments can feel a little bit frustrating, especially when there is little evidence to support them. Luckily, today, we can discuss a paper that addresses how the choice of pubic hair removal affects recurrent UTIs. Here is a study done in Poland in 2023, published by Scientific Reports, that aims to answer whether extreme pubic hair removal increased the incidence of recurrent UTI in women. The study was a cross-sectional survey taken by 2,409 women aged between 18 and 45, collecting a range of data based on pubic grooming, sexual habits, and UTI frequency over the prior year. Women who removed all of their pubic hair, at least weekly, were termed extreme groomers, and these people did not have a higher overall risk of UTIs. However, these women were three times more likely to experience recurrent UTIs compared to those who removed their hair less frequently, recurrent UTIs in this case being defined as three or more infections in 12 months. A possible explanation for this is that pubic hair may serve as a protective barrier, maintaining the microbial environment that deters harmful bacteria such as E. coli. In fact, the paper cites two other studies that looked at the significance of having a beard in a group of healthcare workers. One study found that beards protected against more virulent strains of bacteria, and the other showed beards protected against a high bacterial load. In both cases, beards were antibacterial. I'd like to highlight two lines in the paper, which I think are A, really nice to see in a paper, and B, bear thinking about. So the first one is here. In general, the idea of hair being dirty and unhygienic seems to be incorrect. The other line that I want to point out is the final line in the paper, which reads, but despite the fact that extreme pubic hair removal is commonly considered to many to be required to meet society's standards of attractiveness, femininity and cleanliness among women, our results suggest that especially women experiencing recurrent UTIs might let their pubes grow and embrace hairy genitalia. The study attempted to control for menopause-related UTIs, age, history in UTI in childhood, spermicide use, new sexual partners and sexual intercourse frequency. This study is obviously self-reported though and shows correlation over causation. Overall, there is a link between extreme pubic hair removal and recurring UTIs. If you feel that this could be affecting your health, it might be a good idea to have a bit more hair down there. And if you like this no-nonsense breakdown of scientific papers, follow us for all things UTI and pelvic health.